Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yoyis and I'm a makeup and a lash artist here in Las Vegas. So in today's look, obviously by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate this peachy springtime makeup look with a cream lipstick. Spring just screams out like dewy and glowy and really soft makeup, but I feel like I went a little too heavy with foundation. <laughs> not gonna lie and it just happened it just sort of happened but i am still loving how everything turned out so if you guys want to see how i did this peachy springtime look and want to know exactly how to recreate it then just keep on watching all right guys welcome back if you can hear the AC, don't mind it. It's really, really loud every time it turns on. Uh, and I think I say that in every video. <laughs> so how have you guys been? I know a lot of people are still going crazy with the whole coronavirus. So don't mind the background. I know that pretty much in every video that I do, I change my background a lot. I did just recently move my whole studio around. But if you guys are interested in seeing my beauty room, slash lash room, slash office, slash filming room, <laughs> then let me know down below and I will get that up for you guys. So yes, I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I feel like I've been rambling on forever. Gonna go in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer, legit my favorite primer ever. Tend to have very dry patches, and as you can see, I'm breaking out. I went to the lake yesterday. I feel like it was a bad idea. Okay, and then I'm also gonna go in. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I always go in with the Too Faced uh, Hangover Primer to hydrate my skin. And then I always go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer to, to pretty much just fill in my pores. I do have very large pores in my T-zone area, so I love using this. I, I can't do my makeup without it, and if I do my makeup without it, seriously, like my makeup is not the same. So, for today's look, I think I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline foundation and I'm going to mix both of them just because I went to the lake yesterday and I did get a little darker. So, I think I'm just going to mix both of them just to give me that shade that I need. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe sponge. This is literally my favorite makeup sponge. Wait, I need to put a lot more on this side just because I did break out because I went to the, to the lake yesterday and I'm really regretting it. I grew up going to the lake and when I was younger the lake used to be so pretty and it's probably because I was little I didn't really realize what it looked like you know but it's like now that I'm older I'm just like uh, I'd rather go to the beach I'm dying to go to the beach oh sorry guys and now I'm going in with the shape tape I feel like you can never but I'm using the shape tape the Tarte Cosmetics and bringing that down I'm not too big I think I'm just like complaining about my makeup today like what is wrong with me I've just been complaining since the moment I got on here <laughs> I'm sorry guys I don't know what's going on with me my bad So sorry if the lighting is really weird. I do have my makeup vanity um, to the side of me, to the right. And I have the lights on to give me extra light. Yeah, like I was saying, my my vanity is on this side right now and I have the lights on. So it's kind of giving me like that weird lighting. Um, and I do have natural light coming in from my window in front of me and I also have a ring light. But like I said, I ordered some lights just to be able to have better lighting to record better videos for you guys but I mean it'll do for right now and who knows when those lights are gonna get in here because like I said I ordered them a while ago and they're still not even shipped even though I have prime now okay I feel like this is too much makeup for a springtime look but we'll just go with the flow and see how it turns out and then now I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. 
Okay, and I'm going to go in with my favorite brush to set the under eye. Um, if I'm doing like a full-on heavy-duty glam type of look, then I'll go in with the sponge and bake. But um, lately, I've just been liking more of a natural bake. So I'll just go in with the powder. Just set under my eyes. And then on my forehead, mostly in the T-zone area because that's where I tend to get very oily. And then whatever I have left on my lid, I'll just blend that out. The rest of my face, just to set everything. So in my last video that I did, which was a 10 minute um, makeup tutorial, drugstore makeup. I was debating on posting it just because I couldn't stand looking at my hair. Like, I don't know if you guys could see it, but my roots are growing out. Like, just this last month being in quarantine of me not doing my hair, or do, like, hardly touching it. I feel like my hair grew so much and then my roots are like so grown out that all my gray hairs are like I should not be having that much gray hair. I feel like it's hereditary because I remember that even as a young girl like I struggled with um, gray hair and because I have really really dark black hair it, it would just show like I would get one and my thing was that if I, I would get one gray hair, I would just pull it out, you know? So I feel like that made it worse. And I don't know if it's like a Mexican thing where they tell you, oh, don't pull it out because you're going to get more gray hair. Okay, guys. So um, I was talking and rambling and I realized that my camera turned off. Yeah, I started contouring and I didn't tell you guys what I was using. I'm using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour and I am pretty sure that this certain one is discontinued they have another one but honestly the newer coco contour it's not the business like it just i love Too Faced and i honestly prefer the old coco contour just because it has that that cool tone that i really really love and as you could tell i hit pan on this one a long time ago and i don't want to try out the new one just because it looks weird I don't know I'm all about the packaging and that one just looks a little weird the one I do want to try out is the the natural palette where it has like the bronzers and also it has like a blush in it that one looks really pretty so I'm just contouring my double chin because uh, you know I've been telling myself I'm gonna start working out and I still haven't and even though I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can hear me better now because the AC just turned off. <laughs> even though uh, I stay up till like 3 in the morning watching workout videos and like meal planning. Now going with the, the white shade to just brighten up the inner corners a little bit. I'm like all over the place. Sorry guys. And I'm just going to go in with the dark cocoa to pretty much just bronze up my face. And bring some color back into my face because I am really pale. Also my forehead. You know, I told myself that I was going to start doing the whole powder before uh, foundation because I did try that hack out and I am obsessed. But it's like, I keep forgetting about it. It's like, you know, when you're so used to doing things a certain way and when you try to do things differently, you don't end up doing it differently just because of your habits. I'm just going to go ahead with that same brush and just add some color down my nose I'm gonna use the makeup revolution um, blush palette um, this one is called hot spice and I'm gonna go in with this P50 
peachy shade right here just because I do want an all over peachy look. So yeah, I'm just going to go in with that blush. Just. Um, so I'm just going to go in with that same brush. Just blend it all in together. Dust off any extra blush. I'm just going to go in with the, my favorite highlighter. Like I noticed that I, don't really, I have so many highlighters and I feel like I always gravitate back to this one just because it's so pretty. It gives you that inner glow type of look. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill, the Flash um, highlighter palette. And so I'm going to mix them both in together. And I'm also going to take that Jaclyn Hill brush, the J02. Like it gives you that wet glow that I love so much. Like it just looks all pretty. And I like to drag it up into my brow bone and just blend it out and add a little bit above my brows, up my forehead, a little bit on my nose, not too much, and on my cupid's bow. I'm going to set my face in with the Ofra Makeup Fixer Setting Spray. Okay, and I feel like I'm going to do my brows off camera just because it's a long process. What I really need is to get my brows done because they look all kinds of messed up. Okay, brows are done. And now for the part that you guys been waiting for, obviously, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. And don't mind it. I know it's a little dirty, but this has to be my all-time favorite palette. I am obsessed with it just because it smells so good and just look look at the colors like it's they're so beautiful you could achieve a very subtle daytime look and then you could go in with the darker shades to achieve a more smokier nighttime look and uh, i just love it this palette has to be my all-time favorite so pretty my eyes are already primed with concealer and they're set with powder i'm gonna go in with the shade peaches and cream which is this shade down here and i am going to give you guys an alternative for doing a much simpler peachy eye look you could go in with the i love revolution the peach and glow blush which i really really love like i use this every single day but you could literally use this all over your eye like the crease area and then the highlighter side you could just put in the inner corner and then boom you're done very simple peachy eye look but today I wanted to go to full depth and especially since I'm using my all-time favorite palette I think I am gonna add the blush to give it more of a peachy look but for right now I'm just gonna take in this shade right here the peaches and cream and put that all over my crease and focus that in my crease my eyes are very, very small. They're not hooded. They're just very, very small. Um, but I do have a larger eyelid area up at the top because my, my brows are so arched that I take my product all the way up and pretty much focus it above the crease. Well, for me, at least, when I say that I'm going to put this on my crease, I technically mean like above my crease, like on my crease and more above just to make my eyes look more bigger and that way the color truly shows because if i were just to focus it right on the crease you wouldn't really be able to tell the color so i want to be able to mix in a little bit more colors in there that way you guys could see so i know this is totally off topic but have you guys seen chris hemsworth the movie on netflix called uh, extraction oh my goodness oh my 
my goodness, like I love a good action movie. Like I am a sucker for action movies, especially war movies. Like I love war movies. And this movie, obviously it was, a, it was not a war movie, but it was an action movie. Oh my goodness, Chris Hemsworth pulled a John Wick on us. Like, oh my goodness, like, oh. I'm just, you need to watch it. You need to watch it. Like seriously, that movie is so good. On top of because, you know, Chris Hemsworth is like the sexiest man alive. <sighs> he was just a total badass. A total badass in that movie. Like freaking gangster type of badass, you know? Ugh. Okay, I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm going to go in with the shade just peachy. And I'm going to focus this right on my crease. But that movie was so good. Like right from the beginning, like the very beginning. It was so good. Like Chris Hemsworth, his acting in that movie, like his, I'm just saying, like the whole action scenes, like what the heck. For me, the John Wick movies has to be the best action movies what am I talking about? Get your shit together, Gloria. <laughs> yeah, the John Wick movies has to be the best action movies ever. Don't get me wrong, like, I love Mission Impossible and 007 movies. Yes. 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 Like, oh, uh, yes. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> but the way they did this movie was just so good. Okay, so I went ahead and pretty much did one eye off camera. That way you guys could see how it's supposed to look. Like, can you see the big difference of what makeup and lashes does to your eyes? Oh my god, they look so funny. <laughs> so I went in with the shade Peach Punch and also mixed in that blush that I was telling you about uh, La Revolution. So I mixed this shade with the darker blush side over here and focus that on the outer side of my crease of my eyelid and I'm pretty much just taking a makeup revolution doesn't really say what kind of brush it is and I want to focus that product just right on the outer corner on the lid can you hear the AC going on? Guys, I'm legit craving some grilled chicken with bell peppers. I already have the chicken defrosting and uh, I'm just gonna cook right after this. But that's all I crave now. Like, that's all I want is chicken with bell peppers. Like, how? Like, I don't get it. I'm pretty sure I didn't tell you what brush. Morphe and Jeffree Star, the J5S5. Yeah, the JS5. And I'm pretty much just going to blend in. Try to blend everything in together. And then with that first shade, the first crease brush that I had used, this is for a collection. I don't know exactly what brush it is and I'm just gonna blend it all in together and I'm just gonna keep building it so I'm gonna keep adding color until it looks like the other side So what is the first thing you guys are going to do once you guys are out of quarantine? Like be honest, will you still be indoors trying to hide and not do anything? Or will you be out there doing things that you normally don't do because right now you're probably wishing, I wish I would have done that. <laughs> When I had the chance. Okay, so I'm talking too much and I haven't told you guys what I did. So I pretty much went in with that same brush that I was using to pack it on the lid. And I just started dragging that same shade, which was the Peachy Punch. The Peachy Punch. I started dragging it down to uh, shade in 
the bottom lid and then once I did that I went in with that same Jeffree Star brush with the just peachy color and just started blending it all out to kind of give me that smoky look but not too much and now that I'm done with that I'm just gonna make sure that everything is nice and blended together and now for the front part I'm gonna add glitter and I'm using the elf cosmetics what I say that elf cosmetics or elf beauty I'm pretty sure it's beauty. I'm taking this e.l.f. eyeshadow, this e.l.f. Uh, glitter eyeshadow, and don't mind my nails. My nail fell off, and I just went in with red paint. The same with this one, too. <laughs> don't mind it. I wasn't flicking you off. So, yeah, this shade is called Flirty Bird, and I'm pretty much just going to focus this in the inner corner of my eye and blend it out into my into my eyelid so I'm just gonna focus it right in the corner inner corner with minimal product and then with your finger you're just gonna blend it in and drag the rest of the product into your eye but just halfway not too much that way it looks like that and then with dude I am like making a mess everywhere and then now I'm gonna take uh, the Jeffree Star in shade diamond way I think it was a holiday collection last year not sure I know I went to Morphe with a friend and I saw this and I'm like dude I need to have you honestly this highlighter on the cheeks doesn't really show I'm gonna be honest with you it doesn't really show but when you use this as an eyeshadow, it is like the most beautiful thing ever. Like, I love using this as an eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this as an eyeshadow to pretty much just set in that glitter, that e.l.f. glitter that I have put. And I'm pretty much just going to do the same thing. Focus it right in the center. And then the rest, just drag it out. Like, do you see how instantly that changed the eye look? And I feel like this eye looks a little bit more. And to pretty much finish up the eye look, I wanted to kind of give it that little smoky eye cat eye look. And I'm going to go in with Makeup Revolution. Don't know. I just realized that most of my brushes don't have numbers. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to take the darkest shade, which is called Chocolate Dipped, on an angled brush. And I'm pretty much just add it right on my lash line to make it look a little smoky without taking away from that peachy look. And then just flick it out just a little bit, not too much. And I'm pretty much just going to do that all throughout the lash line. Just focusing it right on the lash line. That way when you add the lashes, it gives you that smoky look. But not too intense without having to add a liquid liner or any type of liner. Honestly, this is like my favorite thing to do. And then I'm pretty much just going to do the same thing at the bottom. But I'm just going to focus it right on the outer corner. Sorry, I have to open my mouth all stupid. <laughs> and just flick it up just a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with the Essence, the False Lashes Mascara. This is what it looks like. I think this was like two or three bucks at Ulta. And it's really good mascara. Not gonna lie, it's really good. Bam, just instantly lifts the eyes. And honestly, for this makeup look, for spring, you kind of don't want to wear too much heavy makeup foundation, which I did the complete opposite because I'm wearing very heavy makeup with glitter 
um, and I wasn't trying to but I really like how it turned out but my point is is that for this look you could easily just pull it off with just wearing mascara like you don't need to go in with lashes but obviously like I love these lashes it just makes everything look so different so you could easily stick with just wearing mascara but if you want a little more glam then I'll let you guys know right now which lashes I'm using to pretty much complete the eye look I swear I can't do my mascara without opening my mouth all stupid <laughs> Okay, so now to finish out the eyes, I'm going to go in with the Kiss Lash Couture and the Gala. But I am obsessed with these lashes. Like, they just look so natural with this little wispiness going on. I love it. If you don't know, I'm a lash artist and my favorite style to do is the wispy, like the Kim K wispy strip lash look. And these literally look like the type of lashes that i do they're so beautiful i love them okay, and i'm just adding glue i'm using the duo this is the duo with the vitamins and shade dark honestly i'm not gonna lie i don't like it just because the glue looks blue and then it dries down and it kind of looks white okay guys lashes are on and this is how the eye look looks. It looks so beautiful. These lashes are everything. Like, I'm obsessed with these lashes. Okay, so pretty much to finish off the eye look, I'm going to go in with that Jaclyn Hill, the flash palette, and use the lightest shade in Gleam. And put this right on the inner corner of my eyes to give it that pop. To pretty much just brighten, brighten up that inner corner. And then a little bit on the brow bone. And it just completely changed the eye look. Okay, and then this step is not necessary. But I feel like I do this a lot just because I am very, very fair and I could pull this off. So if you're very fair like me, then you could use these two shades, which is Peach Meringue merengue and peach butter i always use these two shades so i mix them up and then i use this like as an inner whatever you call this highlight a highlight i don't know what i'm talking about anyways i put this in the inner corner inner corner on I'm just going to stop talking. You could obviously see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but because I'm so white, I'm able to use this to pretty much just brighten up the T-zone of my face. And, I mean, not that many people are going to be able to do what I do. But if you do love that really bright inner t-zone area then you could pull this off then i highly recommend doing it just because it's a really good setting powder but it also brightens up and now i'm just gonna finish this look by doing my lips which is always the best part first i'm gonna use a lip liner nyx lip liner in shade natural Let's see what it zones in so yeah i'm pretty much just gonna line my lips my lips have been so dry and then my allergies have been going nuts so now I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop lipstick and shade Twilight and this is a cream shade But this color is so pretty. It matches my eye color so pretty. Mix it in with this lip liner. This like has to be like the prettiest springtime. Kind of a nude peachy lip combo. I don't know what it is. Like this alone 
I don't like it. Like, I just don't. It makes me look really washed out and pale. But mixed in with this lip liner, it is beautiful. And especially with this eye look. Like, what do you guys think? Alright guys, so if you guys liked this makeup look, make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit the notification button so you guys don't miss out on all my future videos. Also, comment down below what you guys would like to see next because I have so many video ideas that I want to put out there for you guys. So yes guys, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.